G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today's tutorial is for a little cheer lanyard with a little keyring cheer bow attached. You get to see how to make both of them. They're great for cheer mums. Make a whole bunch for your cheer club. Let me show you how it's done. So let me show you what you're going to need to make your little lanyard with your cheer bow. First of all you're going to need your lycra to be fused onto your grow grain ribbon for your cheer bow. If you don't have lycra or spandex, you can use two layers of grow grain ribbon. It'll work just as well, but you will need your fusible webbing to join them together. So your piece of lycra just needs to be big enough to accommodate your ribbon strip. Now we're using two inch width grow grain ribbon for the bow, and you cut the piece of ribbon to measure exactly 53 centimetres for that one. Then you cut a corresponding piece of heat and bond to fit over that grow grain ribbon exactly because we're going to iron that on and join the grow grain to our lycra. You will also need for your lanyard, you will need a strip. I'm using 7 8 width ribbon here, grow grain again because it's nice and strong. We're just going to join two strips of grow grain ribbon together. Now you can contrast them, you can have two different colours, something that will match your finished bow. I'm using a 7 8 width here. Uh, you can use anything up to an inch, bigger than an inch gets a little bit thick. So the measurement for these is 80 centimetres. Uh, measure them to be exactly the same as each other. You'll also need a, an extra little piece of your 7 8 ribbon and that will be to bind around your connection clip and that's a little piece, it's not very long, probably about 12 centimetres and you'll need a centering ribbon for your little bow this one is a 6 millimetre centering ribbon just a little strip to go around, around our bow and you will need some little twisty ties uh, that you usually find them with your freezer bags and that just helps bind the centre You'll need a little split ring to go on our bow to be the connection for our lanyard and also your little, what I call a little dog clip, it's a little bag clip uh, for your lanyard. You could add also something pretty on the little connection and you can use anything you like, it can be something as simple as a button. I like to use a little nail art bow, that looks really sweet. You'll need some sharp scissors to cut off our lighter and you will need a, a lighter or a burning tool at the end to seal our edges of our bow and you'll need some hot glue. So let's get started first of all with our bow. So we'll move all the rest out of the way and your first task is to fuse using your hot iron is to fuse your fusible webbing paper to the grow grain ribbon strip and we'll do that now. So there's our fusible web paper fused onto our grow grain ribbon. We just take that one off and you can see there that I've reversed my lycra so I'm actually going to press the glue fusible web side onto the wrong side of our lycra. Now you can do this using just an ordinary household iron. Make sure you press nice and firm Perhaps you want to use a protective cloth if you've got a very hot iron, just don't want to be melting that grow grain ribbon. You can alternatively use a normal ironing press, which is what I use. So I'm going to fuse that one on. So now we have our grow grain ribbon firmly and securely fused to our lycra, and it's a very good bond. We take our very sharp scissors, and now it's just a simple matter of cutting straight along the edge of that grow grain. We use grow grain ribbon because it has that uh, lovely strength and also it has that little ridged edge which means when we're cutting that lycra off we can butt our scissors straight up against that edge get a lovely clean line. So you can see there just trimming off that lycra. I'm going to cut all the way around that piece. There is our little bow strip all cut out grow grain on the other side. So our next step is to fold our bow up. This is one of the most important parts of making a bow. I like to use an alligator clip here to find the centre. You see I folded that in half and I'm just going to pop that one right in the centre there. Usually I use a template on my large full size cheer bows but we don't need to use a template in this case. We make our usual charity 
style bow. I'm going to fold, fold that looking at me so that I can see. Charity style loop bow. Make sure that you've got those ends even, same length as either side. And it's quite a spread bow at this stage because it's a shorter, fatter little bow. And you see you've got that axis there. So I'm going to put my finger and thumb to hold that join there. Then I'm going to reach up underneath and hold it again. You can see now that I can bring that top, that back with the little clip in it down to measure up that back edge with that cross over there. And I can take out my little clip and pop it in. Now our first fold is inwards. Our very first fold is inwards. You can see how far I'm doing that. And we're going to make one little fold. Then we're going to come back and then we're going to make a second little fold. And back. So you can see there I've got one, two little folds. Then we can remove our clip and we're going to fold the top section all the way back. Hold again. Don't worry about what it looks like now, it's just about getting it bound. So now we grab our twisty ties and we're going to go right over the centre to behind. Nice and firm and we're going to twist that bow up nice and tight. So there's our little bow all bound up. I've still got that little twisty tie on the back. And now is when you have a little play with the shape of the bow. You can pull out the little loops, make sure they're all nice and even and that the tails are even. When you're happy with the way that your little bow is looking, don't be afraid to tug and get it all just nice. And then you can flip it over and I would just trim off the ends of that uh, little twisty tie and just pop that one down nice and flat. That's going to be hidden under your binding ribbon. And I like to try and make that section really nice and flat. So take a bit of time to work on that little shape and make sure you've got it exactly as you like it. So for our next step, we need our centering ribbon and our little split ring. And we're going to center our bow and add our little split ring. We need our hot glue. So the first thing I like to do is just to add a little bit of hot glue to the very back there. It's hot. Remembering working with hot glue, we have to be fairly quick because it does dry so quickly, which is why we use it. You can see I've just set that little start of that centering ribbon on the back there. And we'll just give that a, a moment or two. And then we flip our bow over and we can pull that centering ribbon into position you can see that we're going to go up and over the front of the bow there but we're only going to add hot glue up to about here because then we're going to add our little split ring so I like to add just a thin line of our hot glue right up to the top and we can pull that up nice and firm make sure we're covering completely that little twisty tie. We can slip our split ring on and make sure that's set right up the top there. And then we're going to continue. You can see that we're going to continue to glue around. We're going to come around, continue the process around and back up again the front. So there you can see I've come around, come back up the front again and we're going to repeat the process and glue the front. Don't worry about any little hot glue strings, they just pull straight off. Make sure that you do line up that ribbon exactly over your first layer for a nice clean finish. And you can see I've just popped that last tail end of the ribbon through our split ring again, flip him over and we're going to add the last little bit of hot glue just to that final tab. Make sure you get right to the end of that one. That will be your final seal and it's just a matter of pushing that one down 
make sure you've got a nice firm bond at the end there and just let that cool. There's our little bow with our little split ring and you can see there that I've just cut one of those tails. You can cut them on a straight diagonal if you prefer. I like the little arrow tails and it's just a matter of matching up the other side. To do that we simply fold our little tail end of the ribbon in half. Use your very sharp scissors remembering to keep it the same as the other side. Start from the corner and work inwards and it's just one clean snip. Check that the tails are the same length, make any adjustments and then you would take your little burning tool or your lighter and just very lightly heat sear the ends of that bow so that it won't fray away. So at this point you have your little key ring bow which could be clipped onto your bag. You could actually put it onto your keys, your ID like that. But we're going to go ahead now and make the lanyard to go with it. So what we need to do first up is exactly the same as we did with our bow. We need to iron a strip of fusible web onto one of our strips, ribbon strips for our lanyard. You do that with your hot iron in exactly the same way. And I've done that, you can see. So it's just a matter of, just as before, removing that strip. And if you have a look in your, um, your local fabric and craft store, you can find that this uh, heat and bond does come in little rolls in these widths like a tape. That can be quite useful when you're doing ribbon bonding. So you could have a look for that. So now I'm simply going to, with my iron, because I can guide it as I go, I don't use a heat press for this stage on this type of ribbon. I'm going to pop that one down on my ironing board and I'm going to fuse those two strips together all the way along. So there we have our beautifully fused together little lanyard strap. Now you can see that by using the grow grain and fusing two pieces together like that we still get, we get a really strong little lanyard and we also get uh, the, the lovely flexibility. So in my opinion 7 8 width works best for a little lanyard. So what we're going to do is we folded it over again in that same little charity style ribbon. Put your ends together and then I just like to slightly part them. You can see at the bottom there, I've just slightly made a little V shape coming out there. That just helps the lanyard sit nice and flat. What I generally do, you could just use hot glue, but I like to just pop this over to my sewing machine and I will just sew across. It's about a centimetre and a half from the bottom just sew back and forth a couple of times to keep that little split happening before we put it onto our, our little clip. So I'm going to do that now. So you can see that little stitching line I've done. So that's going to hold that nicely as I slip that through. We get our little bag clip here and we go through the front of your little clip and up behind. And we're, there's two ways to treat this. You can either simply hot glue that one into place. You could pop some hot glue across here and you could glue that one in place like that. I like to first of all do another sewing stitch on the machine just back and forth across here remembering that we're going to be binding that little section with our piece of ribbon so we're not going to see that stitching at all and I just make, I think it makes it easier to handle. So I'm going to just pop a couple of stitches across on the machine. So there is my little stitching line. That's all held nicely in place now. My next step is to take my binding ribbon. I've actually just used my lighter and I've just heat sealed just one of those edges. And the next step is to, we're going to bind around that little section there. We do that just to make it strong and just to cover up all of our little raw edges and you can see that will be our finished result. Now the reason why I heat sear one of those edges is because this is the one that I'm going to fold over the back last so it will have a nice little sealed edge. This side will be tucked under and will be covered by that one so we don't need to heat sear this one. So at this stage I'm just looking to snip off my excess estimate what I'll need to go around and that this one will go around and cover it. I'll do that and I'll show you the result. 
first step hot glue to the front second step will be flip him over and your knot seared edge hot glued across and then when that's set hot glue your final little hit seared edge onto the back so there you can see that one completed and you can see what a neat clean little finish that is flip it over and you've got that lovely that lovely little central spot there that you can decorate with some kind of embellishment now I'm using I'm going to be popping a little blue this is a little nail art accessory I'm simply going to hot glue that one onto place but I'm going to show you a couple of options there of course you could just use a normal button there you could either hot glue it into place or you could stitch it on before you put that binding ribbon around there alternatively we do have all sorts of little nail art bling that you could just hot look hot glue into place anything that you think would make it a little bit pretty so now we'll just attach our little chair bow so there's our little completed chair lanyard you can see how nice that little embellishment makes that little central area there look there's our little bow attached and they look, they're fabulous for cheer comps you can add your little ID tags whatever you like you could also add any little clippies we make little clippy bows to go on them also and they look amazing perhaps your little cheerleading badges fantastic for fundraisers you cheer mums out there really useful and you can see really quick so I hope that's useful to you all I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have you could give me a thumbs up that would be beaut Remember to subscribe because we've got some more cheer gear coming up and lots of other simple videos, simple, easy to do videos. So most of all, remember to pay it forward because everybody can. And until next time, it's Peru from me. Rain ribbon exactly because we're going to iron that on and join the grow grain to our lycra. You will also need for your lanyard, you will need a strip. I'm using 7 8 width ribbon here, grow grain again because it's nice and strong. We're just going to join two strips of grow grain ribbon together. Now you can contrast them, you can have two different colours, something that will match your finished bow. I'm using a 7 8 width here. Uh, you can use anything up to an inch, bigger than an inch gets a little bit thick. So the measurement for these is 80 centimetres. Uh, measure them to be exactly the same as each other. You'll also need a an extra little piece of your 7 8 ribbon and that will be to bind around your connection clip and that's a little piece, it's not very long, probably about 12 centimetres and you'll need a centering ribbon for your little bow. This one is a 6 millimetre centering ribbon just a little strip to go around, around our bow and you will need some little twisty ties uh, that you usually find G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today's tutorial is for a little cheer lanyard with a little keyring cheer bow attached. You get to see how to make both of them. They're great for cheer mums. Make a whole bunch for your cheer club. Let me show you how it's done. So let me show you what you're going to need to make your little lanyard with your cheer bow. First of all you're going to need your lycra to be fused onto your grow grain ribbon for your cheer bow. If you don't have lycra or spandex, you can use two layers of grow grain ribbon. It will work just as well, but you will need your fusible webbing to join them together. So your piece of lycra just needs to be big enough to accommodate your ribbon strip. Now we're using two inch width grow grain ribbon for the bow and you cut the piece of ribbon to measure exactly 53 centimetres for that one. Then you cut a corresponding piece of heat and bond to fit over that grow grain strip all cut out, grow grain on the other side. So our next step is to fold our bow up. It's one of the most important parts of making a bow. I like to use an alligator clip here to find the centre. You see I folded that in half and I'm just going to pop that one right in the centre there. Usually I use a template on my large full size cheer bows but we don't need to use a template in this case. We make our usual charity style bow, I'm going to fold that looking at me so that I can see. 
charity style loop bow make sure that you've got those ends even the same length as either side and it's quite a spread bow at this stage because it's a shorter fatter little bow and you see you've got that axis there so I'm going to put my finger and thumb to hold that join there then I'm going to reach up underneath and hold it again you can see now that I can bring that top that back with the little clip in it down to measure up that back edge with that cross over there and I can take and with your freezer bags and that just helps bind the center you'll need a little split ring to go on our bow to be the connection for our lanyard and also your little what I call a little dog clip it's a little bag clip uh, for your lanyard you could add also something pretty on the little connection and you can use anything you like it can be something as simple as a button I like to use a little nail art bow that looks really sweet you'll need some sharp scissors to cut off our lighter and you'll need a, a lighter or a burning tool at the end to seal our edges of our bow and you'll need some hot glue so let's get started first of all with our bow so we'll move all the rest out of the way and your first task is to fuse using your hot iron is to fuse your fusible webbing paper to the grow grain ribbon strip and we'll do that now so there's our fusible web paper fused onto our grow grain ribbon we just take that one off and you can see there that I've reversed my lycra so I'm actually going to press the glue fusible web side onto the wrong side of our lycra now you can do this using just an ordinary household iron make sure you press nice and firm perhaps you want to use a protective cloth if you've got a very hot iron just don't want to be melting that grow grain ribbon you can alternatively use a normal ironing press which is what I use so we're going to fuse that one on so now we have our grow grain ribbon firmly and securely fused to our lycra and it's a very good bond we take our very sharp scissors and now it's just a simple matter of cutting straight along the edge of that grow grain we use grow grain ribbon because it has that uh, lovely strength and also it has that little ridged edge which means when we're cutting that lycra off we can butt our scissors straight up against that edge get a lovely clean line so you can see there just trimming off that lycra I'm going to cut all the way around that piece there is our little